Hey, are you new to the club? Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell beside it. See ya. Hello world. Welcome to Spirit Candy channel and this is Ken. This video is about Tinker. Tinker is a coding for kids application. If you're familiar with CodeSpark, CodeKid and Scratch Jr, this application is a visual programming language for kids. If you want your kids to be exposed to programming at the very early stage, this is a good start. Of course, parents' support is advised. Figure is the only available on iPod and PC as of now. So if you're Android users, unfortunately, you cannot download it. There are many parts that I want to tackle about Tinker, but for the meantime, let's do one of Tinker's tutorial for iPod. And before anything else, don't forget to click the subscribe and like button. So on this tutorial, there will be like a game mode where the kids will start playing or start learning how to walk and jump. So there are a number of actions inside this application. So the basic one is walking or like moving forward or moving backward. And the next one is jumping. So they have their own mechanism on how to jump. So this is just like a function for us and they can use it later on on the next screen where they need to walk further to get something like a ray gun like this one. Like what I mentioned earlier, they will be introducing two actions for this chapter. First one is walk, meaning it will move forward your character. So my character right now is an astronaut, so it will move forward to get something. And after that one, for the next chapter or for the next uh, series, it will use the same actions, walk, but in order for us to reach the ray gun, we need to put two actions where we're going to put two walk functions for us to reach it. So as you notice, it's currently basic, but this is very helpful, especially for your kid to understand that certain functions or actions can do something on the screen the or tablet? on the character. So, so the next chapter will be harder, but of course still basic and then still using just one action, which is walking. And what you notice is like the app itself give you easy and medium level of difficulty so your kid will like um scale in terms of learning so they tried first the basic one and then they add more and then they're teaching you that you can use many different actions to reach certain things get to the med and on to the next level the in order for us to get the med kid and avoiding the rock we need to use to two functions jumping and walking so now the app is now giving you much harder um, level for you for your kid to to accomplish or to complete since this is just a very early stage when you're using the application so this is like uh giving them idea on how to use or how uh, how make So we are now in the very last chapter of this tutorial and you'll see that they added more actions to use for us to complete a certain level. So walk and jump to get the power cell and avoid the alien. Walk and jump to walk and jump over a avoid. Get the crystal, avoid the obstacles.
and I think we're almost done so for now that will be it and then we'll be posting more videos and tutorials on how to use Stinker so your kids can learn about this awesome application so please don't forget to click the subscribe and the like button see ya